Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. So this week I want to share with you a lesson I learned many, many, many moons ago, and that's that your happiness is within you. It's not determined by where you live or how you live or what you have or what you don't have. It's within you. It's how you choose to see the world. Um, many years ago, I did stable management and I lived on the Cape Flats in Cape Town. Now, the Cape Flats aren't known for being one of the nicest areas. In fact, when a friend of mine came to visit, he picked up an off-duty policeman to show him the way by mistake. I mean, he didn't sort of go looking for an off-duty policeman, but he just happened to pick one up and he was showing him the way. And before he got to where I lived, a couple of blocks away, he asked to get out of the car because he said, even I don't go where you're going now. So it wasn't a very nice area. <laughs> I was advised to get a dog because otherwise I was likely to be raped on the way to work. It was that kind of area. But I loved what I did. I was working on a stable yard. I was up at five in the morning. I had to be on the yard at six. I came home, you know, as it got dark, seven or eight o'clock at night. Um, I studied until 10 o'clock at night. I barely had a social life. I only went out once a month, but I really was happy inside. And it made me realize I lived in a very tiny little cottage with basically two rooms. Um, I, I, had, I had nothing really. I had a bed, I had a table to study at. Um, all I had was um, a tape player and one tape <laughs> that, I, that I played for a year flat. So I had very little. And on the weekends, my treat was to go to the garage nearby and buy these sort of pre-cooked dough balls. Um, and that was kind of like my weekly treat was to have a couple of these dough balls that I could cook in my teeny weeny little um, countertop oven. But it's about looking for the things to be grateful for in life, looking for the things that give you joy, rather than looking at all the things that don't. So if I sat there and I thought, oh my God, what am I doing living in this place, in this little hovel with nothing, uh, my dog and my cat ate better than I did, then I could have got really depressed about it. But instead, I thought about the work with the horses that I really loved. I thought about the people I worked with who I really cared about and enjoyed. I thought about the, the teenagers that used to come and ride on the weekends and stuff and stable their horses at the stable yard and who I enjoyed. And of course, all the horses that I loved so much. There was so much that I really loved and was, you know, enjoyed in my life. But I suppose the negative things didn't really touch sides. And it stood me in such good stead because when things have gone bad in my life and I've looked around and they're not quite the way I've wanted them to be, I've thought back to that time and thought to myself, if I could have been happy then, then I can be happy anywhere. And it's something that it was a lesson I learned um, a long time ago that I've kept in my heart ever since. And it's always stood me in good stead. So whenever I feel sorry for myself or I feel life is not being fair, I remind myself that my happiness is within me. It's how I choose to be. And if I could have been happy in those circumstances all those years ago, I can be happy anywhere. And I truly believe that. And I've proved that to myself time and time again as I've gone through the years, just reminding myself that my happiness is within me. And your happiness is within you. And you can choose to focus on the things that you're blessed with in your life, or you can choose to focus on the negative. And nothing that happens can take that happiness away from you. Only you can give it power over you. If I'd allowed myself to feel sad about where I was, then I would have been sad. But I chose not to. I chose to see it as an opportunity and, and, and a freedom and, and that I was doing something I loved. And therefore, I took responsibility for my own happiness. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, as usual, my contact details are in the show notes below. So if you are interested in coaching with me or if you're interested in my online courses, just have a nosy down there. I'm also going to be starting a monthly Ho'oponopono clearing session. And if you're interested to join me on that, it's only half an hour once a month. And if you can't make the date, then I will be recording it. Um, so you can listen to it at a later date and make use of it. Then the link to that will also be in the show notes below. So much love from me to you. Bye bye.